my name is Mackenzie Lewis, and I'm a dietetics graduate student here at Eastern Illinois University, and I'd like to talk to you today about ulcerative colitis and its nutritional implications. Um, ulcerative colitis is a form of inflammatory bowel disease in which the lining of the colon, also known as the large intestine, becomes inflamed and irritated, and ulcers present themselves. And ulcers are tiny little sores that produce pus and mucus and blood um, and compromise the digestive tract. Um, most times, these ulcers uh, produce bloody, loose stools, which is the main symptom of the condition. Um, other symptoms that also are presented are fatigue, lack of appetite, and abdominal pain. Um, most of the time, this is a genetic predisposition, but also can be caused by stress and an immune system infection. Um, this is a chronic disease, which causes um, the fact that there is no cure for it, but it is just treatable throughout a lifetime through medication and diet. Um, and there are two different phases in the disease itself, um, a phase of remission and a phase of active symptoms. Um, the remission phase is asymptomatic and it does not cause the patient any sort of pain or discomfort, uh, but the flare-up phase when the, pa when the patient experiences the symptoms is um, very painful and it has all the symptoms present. There are different dietary recommendations for both of these phases. Um, but both of them are directly affected um, through the digestive system, and the digestion and the absorption of nutrients is definitely compromised, um, which is a main concern to nutritional status. So most patients that are diagnosed with this condition have an immediate recommendation to be placed on a multivitamin. Um, aside from that, the two different phases of the condition have two different dietary recommendations. Um, for the uh, remission phase, it is basically a well-balanced, healthy diet is the recommendation um, with an emphasis placed on fiber to keep the digestive tract working properly and healthfully. Um, and then whenever the patient goes into a flare-up condition, it is recommended to remain um, away from fiber products, um, anything that has a lot of, um, that might aggravate the digestive system. Um, it is mostly recommended to have low fiber, low residue, um, bland diet, foods such as applesauce, yogurt, toast, or bread, um, bananas and rice are foods that are most recommended for them to um, not aggravate their symptoms. And one food that is most enjoyed by these patients is mashed potatoes, um, low in fiber, and a bland food, which is what I'd like to make for you today. Um, this recipe calls for five small potatoes um, to be boiled for 20 minutes, which I have already done. Um, and after you have boiled them, you add about one cup of milk to it. And I'm making these heart healthy, so I did use skim milk. Um, and I'm using a butter substitute, a heart healthy butter substitute. And it's uh, one tablespoon of butter goes into this. And then also a teaspoon of garlic um, for taste. And also salt and pepper to taste. Um, you can then use an electric mixer or a masher, and you go mash up the potatoes to the desired consistency. And whenever that is finished, you will have a product that looks like this. Um, these are garlic mashed potatoes, heart healthy garlic mashed potatoes. And um, hopefully you learned a little bit about ulcerative colitis today and what can do for nutrition. Thank you for watching.